Welcome back, everyone, to Layers of Fear. Um, oh, I can't see and see you like this. You're not well. You're not sweating and you're sh yeah, blah, blah, blah. You're sweating and shaking all night, and now you're locked in your workshop as usual. The whole this whole tortured artist thing nonsense has got to stop. We are literally seeing their entire relationship just fall apart. What's this? Oh, is this like a picture book? Oh. Oh, then we should be picking up some of that stuff. Well, I've been looking around for stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's like more collectibles. Okay. Alright, well, damn. Oh well, we'll pick up some more on the way. Oh, right into it. Um, that looks good. Gee, I wonder why I can't get in there. Really? That like... is some strong wind. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, that's a hat box. I think. Art set. Other stuff. Well, I guess I have to go through this door. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, there's your piano. Is he gonna start chomping at me like the one in Mario 64? Uh, <laughs> that would be horrifying in this sort of situation. That was scary enough. They used to scare the heck out of me. It's like, kid. See? <sighs> Mario 64 has made us paranoid of pianos. Oh. Blank about a boy who wakes up in a cave he finds a mysterious note and a gun he then journeys through various environments woods ri fields rivers eventually he winds up at a small cabin where it turns out that uh where it turns out this has all been the product of his subconscious brought up by a traumatic childhood memory a guy he killed a guy who had murdered his father in the real world he had been drooling in a loony bin this whole time get it the twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me if you're interested? I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think th I think you should take the job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Caldwell. My agent is really concerned for me. He seems like a nice dude. Um. Oh, great! It's like it's like pitch black in here. Um. Oh, now it's fading in. Uh. Oh. Oh, if I had known there's gonna be stuff hanging in his friggin' pockets. Oh, we should have been looking. Oh well. Um. Okay. Uh, was that a doll? No. I just see lights. I think there was something below the light. There was something below the light. It's not there now. It disappeared. Yeah, along with what possibly was my wife. Yeah. Blocked? No. No. Creator's block. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember this. I gotta spin around. Oh, there oh, we go. There we go. Um. Oh, there's a key. I like how you no know hesitation just reach for the doll, like, gosh. Uh, this is good. Hmm. Oh, is there going to be something behind us? No, we're just going to be in the room. Okay. What we got here? This whole place is kind of cramped and claustrophobic. Don't forget, June 9th, the new moon. Wasn't, wasn't that their... Their anniversary. Yeah. Or the day they got married. 
but subsequently their anniversary. Oh! Oh, that's what that was for. No creepy doll. May 23rd. How can two people once in love with each other so... F oh, oh, this is her, like... Right. Because now she's all mutilated and she's hurt that, uh... Um... He doesn't love her anymore. Or she, she feels like he doesn't love her anymore because he's probably more upset the fact that he can't do anything for her. Uh, uh, yeah. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessive. Uh, obsessively working over one failed painting or another. He doesn't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. He gave me the, the look he gave me the other day, that pathetic, hurtful look, a combination of shame and guilt and repulsion. I have come to realize that I've become a monster in his eyes. Yeah, so she feels like she's like nothing to him because she's disfigured now. Horribly disfigured. And he's probably just like Of course then again, like I remember she gets kind of like Thanks. Thank you, Dor. I remember she gets kind of like nasty with him too. Yeah, well, they just start lashing at each other because yeah. she's in pain, he's got issues. Uh, more notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is, I agree with every word. Hmm. There's a table out there. It's a nice little house. A little... see I can't go in there mm -hmm. uh, 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 nope can't pick that up oh well dominoes Let's see if there's anything in here nope no what about you you open a lot of jumps. Okay. Cretans, blind fools, ignorant. Uh, uh, what's going to be on the front of this? Oh. Oh, no, thank you. That's not that bad. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Do, 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 do. Hallway. Oh, now we're up here. We're in the dip. Gosh, don't fall. Well, looks like I gotta go down. Oh, is this the basement? No, I think this is this area down here. Oh, okay. I think. No. Can't grab that. Nope. Nope. Mmm. Mm. Nothing's around here. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta go through here. Huh. It's a little misty in here. Mm hmm. Telephone. Something's ringing backwards. Kind of is. Oop. Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can say, can't say that your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you have previously sought after our advice in the matter, in this matter. And while this is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I think sixteen concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly and have. To concur with my colleagues, involuntary muscle spasms are not common with patients who have suffered burns and severe, as severe as your wife did. And what you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such uh, expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned, not 
do not seem to be psych- uh, physiological, but purely, or rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that she went through what she went through could not. Uh, be undone with one civil procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will be required. Will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Sincerely, Robert Richards, M.D. Another fucking quack. Now, let me go into so that. So it damn sounds phone. like he can't get over the fact that she's messed up, and he he's trying to get her back to normal. Yeah. And he. Um, Get thee back, Satan. That that was the phone. Yes, I know that was the phone. <laughs> and I am going in circles. Sort of. Wasn't he also kind of obsessed with perfection? Also. Yeah, he was a perfectionist. That's probably why he's like mad that she doesn't look can right I, anymore. Can I answer the demon phone, please? <laughs> I don't think Is so. it a hotline to hell? Are we going in circles? Yes. Sort of. Oh. Phone ran away. Hi, phone. Oh, wait. If it's going backwards. What happens when I go the other way? Yeah, let's try that. Hey! The- Would you stop running away, phone? Yes, speak. Ah. <laughs> oh, yes. yes <laughs> oh, yeah. Bow, bow. Chicka, chicka. <laughs> All right, I think that that did something. Yay. Okay. There's a door. Restless uh, memories. More uh, wine glasses. I don't think we're seeing blood on the ground. I think we're just seeing wine everywhere. Okay. <clears throat> um, no thank you. Oh, right. Um, oh, this looks good. What's that say? Uh, I can't. Something thoughts? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Well, shit. Okay. Oh, well, it fixed the room. It looks a little nicer in here. Um... More metals. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with he lost his leg in the war. But no, but they made they made it that he already had his leg, and then he ended up getting a prosthesis, from what I remember. Yeah, but I'm saying he was probably in the war before and lost his leg. No, 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 no. I mean, they don't really make it seem like he. He it's left just a and theory. Came back. It's just a theory. Yeah. Oh. Um. Um. Do I have to time these? Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep going. Keep moving forward. There's the deer head again. Oh, the elevator. Oh, wait, does it say something on the wall to the left? Oh. Hope is a mine color. I thought there was something on the left. No, nope. it's just reflecting. There was words though. Yes, there were. Uh boy. boy. Well, we'll have to save this for the next one, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you can click in the corner for the last episode. You can click in here for more videos. 
I'm glad that I'm getting more jump scares out of this. I feel like I've been startled more times in the, than we did the last time we played. Yeah. So that actually, I'm not to say that I, I like this game. I'm not saying that I don't. So, <laughs> but anyways, um, more madness to come in the next one. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.